Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Are you new to Python development and looking for a comprehensive guide to setting up a Visual Studio Code environment? Don't worry, it's easy to set one up with just a few tools and a few simple steps. In this video, I will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up Visual Studio Code on your Windows computer. Let's go. To begin the setup, head over to the official download page at code.visualstudio.com and download the software. If you already have VS Code installed, you can skip this step. After downloading, simply run the executable file and follow the on-screen prompts to complete the installation process on your PC. When Visual Studio Code is prepared, the next step is installing a Python interpreter. This tool acts as a translator for your Python code reading your commands and translating them into actions or output that your computer can understand. Head over to python.org slash downloads, get the installer from the official website, and run the downloaded file to complete the installation. If you don't have administrator access to your computer, you can download Python from the Microsoft Store as an alternative. This provides a convenient way to get supported versions of the tool. Another essential tool to complement the Python interpreter is the Python extension for Visual Studio Code. The extension provides essential tools for writing, debugging, and managing Python code effectively. From the Visual Studio Code dashboard, navigate to the Extensions tab and install the Python extension from Microsoft. Installing the extension also automatically downloads the Python Debugger, a tool that will help you set breakpoints, step through code, and handle exceptions. With your Python interpreter and VS Code extension set up, the next step is to create a virtual environment. A virtual environment isolates your project's dependencies, prevents conflicts with other files, and maintains a clean global Python installation. First, open your workspace folder or create a new directory if you don't have one already. Next, press Ctrl plus Shift plus P to access the command palette and enter Python create environment. Click the VENV or virtual environment option and choose the Python interpreter you installed earlier. VS Code will then begin creating your new virtual environment. With your virtual environment ready, it's time to create your first Python file. From the File Explorer toolbar, click New File and name it with a .py extension to clearly indicate a Python file. Once created, VS Code will open the file in the editor so you can start writing your Python code right away. To run your code, simply click the Run Python File Play button in the top right corner of the editor. VS Code's terminal will automatically activate your Python interpreter and display the output of your code. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or want me to create a tutorial about another topic, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye!